Oh, yeah. What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today we are rounding out round one of Wood Bat Madness 1.0 live from the beautiful Las Vegas ballpark. We got the Victus. 243 v243 maple versus the stinger 243 maple this is going to be kind of a budget maple bat whereas this is going to be you know really spendy 180 bucks let's see if there's a big difference let's get it And here is our Wood Bat Madness 1.0 bracket so far. Most of the Elite Eight is set. We're gonna have the Old Hickory and Birdman, the Sam Bat and Phoenix Pro XR, the Cody Bellinger Louisville versus the B45, and the American Batsmith TS28 against the winner of the V243 Victus Maple and the Stinger 243 Maple. Really, same turn model ideally. We're gonna see if there's any differences though. I'll tell you right now, it looks like this is a bit thinner and longer of a barrel, whereas this is, you know, it tapers kind of late and has that big heavy barrel at the end here. So let's see the difference between the Stinger 243 Maple and the Victus 243 Maple. Is it worth that 80 bucks to get the Victus here? Let's check it out. All right, folks, we're gonna start out with the Stinger Maple 243 here to see who our last Elite Eight entrant is gonna be in Woodbat Madness. We're out here at Las Vegas Ballpark, big old yard. We got 340 down the lines and then it goes way out. The air is thin though, we're at high elevation. The ball flies here like a good 40, 50 feet further a lot of the times than back in Oregon. Those Oregon duck videos, I couldn't freaking even get it out at 330. Jeez. Here, I'm hitting the 380 sign, so let's get it, boys. Oh, all right. Damn, baby. Dude, this feels nice. Dude, for a hundred bucks all day. Man, that's pretty impressive. Let's see what the Victus has got. All right, folks, now we got the Victus V243. Last time we tried this bat out, it was smashed in the ball, super loud. Well, all right, big boy time. Now we got the, the V243. Oh, the laser. <laughs> Let's see what it's got today. Can it beat out the Stinger Maple and move on to face the American Batsmith? With this bat, if you barrel it up, you literally can't feel it. It's like you just, you hear it and see it. You don't feel it. Oh! oh yow! Go ball! Get out of here. Damn! Oh! Yeah. That's so loud. I swear those were two different swings. Dude, Stinger's hanging with these expensive bats. That's honestly pretty impressive. Let's do one more with each here. All right. Oof. Smashed. That's tough, bro. They're both good.
kind of feeling weird about this one. We got another big vote. Let's go. All right, fellas. Voting time for our last spot in the Elite Eight. The last matchup in the first round. We got the Stinger 243 against the Victus 243. We're going to say Victus or Stinger on the count of three. Do you guys got your votes? Yes, sir. Go. Kind of a close one, honestly. Let's see here. Three, two, one. Victus. Victus. Oh, the clean sweep. Only, I think that's only like our second clean sweep it of is. the entire first round. It bro. is. Wow. All right, Nick, you honestly mashed with both, bro. Uh, what put the Victus over the edge for you, man? Yeah, ultimately they felt pretty similar. Yeah. The only thing I'd say is the Victus is a little bit more well balanced. Yeah. Um, the barrel starts a little bit earlier, so yeah. it feels more evenly weighted. Handles kind of the same, and you just can kind of feel the difference of the hardness of the Victus. You I can mean, hear it too, you I can think. Hear it. I'm yeah. sure you guys will hear it in the video, but. Yeah. Uh, Ultimately, it just came down to the hardness. Yeah. All right, Trace, why'd you end up going with the Victus, man? It really just had to do with the hardness of the wood and just the balance. Yeah. You, know, it's the same... you were dipping a little bit with yeah. the Stinger, bro. Even when it was the same term model, the Stinger's just a little bit too heavy. And I just, I really like the 243 model that Victus has, obviously. And, um, you know, I just felt like I swung way better with this. I felt more confident with it. I mean, all in all, this Victus 243 takes the dub. Yeah, dude, Victus does a really good job of having these big turn models, but slimming them down and mm -hmm. making them more manageable yeah. for like your average hitter. Exactly. Excellent job at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, and for me, um, really just the barrel profile kind of tells the story here. You can see this is a slimmer, longer barrel, a bit more balanced out. And this really just tapers at the end, makes it quite a bit more end heavy. You really have to kind of get it towards the end, get that barrel out a bit more. And really like just the hardness of the wood, man. You can tell by the sound and the feel. If you barrel it up with this, you can't even feel the ball. Whereas this, you know, gives you a little bit of feedback. Uh, just a little bit louder, denser wood out of the Victus today. So you can see, even though these are both 243s, both companies kind of define that a different way. So, but yeah, I think the Victus just slightly edges it out. I will say though, if you don't want to spend $180 on a wood bat, for 100 bucks, that's a pretty good cut of wood, man. This and the uh, Louisville Slugger M9 Maple, the 5 Series, those, I mean, I'd honestly probably go with that still, bro. The 5 Series M9 for 80 bucks, that's a killer deal. This is another great maple budget option. Solid bat from Stinger, just tough to compete with Victus, bro. That's a good cut of wood. And there it is, folks. Again, Stinger honestly putting up a really impressive showing, hanging with the big boys, but the Victus just squeaking its way through. Really solid cut of wood here. We're gonna have the Victus 243 against the American Batsmith TS-28 in the Elite Eight. So there it is, folks. That is a pretty gnarly looking Elite Eight right there. Which four of these will move on to our Bat Madness 1.0 final four all right guys thanks for hanging out today fun video to make if you enjoyed it we'd appreciate it if you drop a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to help support the bat bros you can always check out our merch over at baseballbatbros.com and a big thank you to las vegas ballpark for letting us hit on your field beautiful beautiful facility here and the ball just freaking flies in vegas boys we got to go back to oregon unfortunately appreciate you guys hanging out we'll see you next time peace out